And, fittingly enough, Babe Ruth hits the first home run in All-Star Game history as the American League beats the National League by a score of 4-2. to two. With one away in the fifth, Gibson hammers a long drive to center. The ball lands on a ledge just to the right of the flagpole. It's a home run. Homers aren't unique for Bob, but this is his first in the World Series. Here she goes, a long belt to left. This one's well hit, and it's gone. A home run for Gibson. Player third, Brooks second, Johnson first, two out, 2-2 two -two pitch to McNally. That's it pretty good. Grand slam home run. Chuck, I think we just have some World Series history made. We're going to the record books. Frank Robinson passed him on the back, but Dave McNally has become the first pitcher to ever hit a Grand Slam World Series home run. Wise has hit eight career home runs. There's a well hit ball, deep left field, that might go. It is a home run for Rick Wise's second of the game. His fourth home run of the year, his ninth career home run, and what a story this is. <laughs> he hit a fastball, and he ripped it. He's evidently not too worried about a no-hitter right at this moment. It certainly hasn't affected his hitting concentration. He is putting on quite a show here tonight. You can't pitch any better, and you can't hit any better. Take a look at this swing. Now, he puts a good swing on it. Of course, the fits is a fastball. They're thinking that he's going to bunt. That was right down the middle, but Terrell taking advantage of the fastball, puts it into the bleachers in left field. And the Mets lead by a score, two to nothing. And that's lofted deep into left center field. Mel Hall at the wall. It's out of here. Another home run. The second two-run home run for Walt Terrell the opposite way. I can't believe it. And neither can Fergie Jenkins. Say the next time in that situation, they'll probably walk Terrell intentionally to get to Mookie Wilson. <laughs> Four RBIs, the second home run of the day. Well, this is why you always save a player. That's this is absolutely the reason. I thought the Braves did the right thing. They let Rungi take a shot at winning it, and he hit the ball well, but now two outs and no one on. The Mets are waving their infield their outfielders in. The whole Met team waving their outfielders in. Here's Rick Camp with a game on the line. Two outs and no one on base. It'll be an 0-2 pitch. And he is at the deep left. He goes back. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Rick Camp. Rick Camp. Remember what I just said, if he gets a home run, that certifies this game as the wackiest, wildest, most improbable game in history. Well, there it is again. There's the swing and, and there's the hit. And what an improbable start to the season. All these one-run games and one-run victories. Kind of nice. Craig Lefferts, he's our hero tonight. Norm Davis, and there's a base hit to center. He faked the bunt and does it again. Well, he's a handy man with the bat. And after having had 11 during the year, it's really not a surprise to see him single to center. And Griffin is gone. Then the pitch is slapped down the line. Fair ball. Griffin is being waved in. Canseco is going to relay to McGuire, and it's over his head. The run scores on a double by Oro Hershiser with two strikes. You know, some people might be thinking they got a six-run lead. Why not take him out of the ball game and save him to come back later on? I don't think we're sort of a good. Another bird and down the line. Hershiser is going to go three for three with two doubles. They'll never get him out of the game now when you get three hits. And what is it the American League always says? What's the fun of watching a pitcher hit? <laughs> He's got three, and he doesn't want, yeah, bring a jacket out. Now, he pulls it right by 
looking for his first major league hit. Butch Henry is 0 for 6. He looks like he's going to be a pretty good hitter. Slap down the left field line. Boss comes over. It gets by him. Henry has extra bases. Gonzo scores. Tomlinson coming in. Henry going for third, and he is being waved home. Butch Henry is trying to score. The throw is. It's an inside the park home run. Unbelievable. A three run inside the park homer. Barry Bonds narrowly missed the catch. Keep all your energy straight back, straight ahead. Hampton lifts a high fly ball, deep right center field. He's flying around the bases. Man, right center. He smoked it. Hampton hammers it. Deep left field. This one's heading for the Rockies. Well, when you haven't hit one in your whole career, just go ahead and hit four in one year. Do it in the first half. And two in one game. Wow. So Hampton, who has four home runs, set to lead off. Fly ball, deep center field. Has he done it again? It is gone! Wow! Are you kidding me? Do not adjust your sets. Well, Perez hit his fifth, so I guess Hampton felt like he needs to keep pace. I got a couple of knocks. I got an RBI. Oh, by the way, I pitched four and shut up. About seven punch shots. Walked a couple. And oh. he drills it to right field. Way back at the wall! Oh, my! Goodbye, home run! Jennings in his major league debut. His first hit, his first RBI, his first home run, and maybe a complete game shutout. His second start of the week since being called up, and that's Kevin Melwood, the pitcher. It's the second career home run for Millwood, who, by the way, is 3-0 lifetime at Coors. But turnabout is fair play, so Denny Stark exacts revenge. That's a two-run shot. His first ever hit in the majors, 4-1 Rockies. That's well hit. It is going to be a grand slam home run, Robert Person. Robert Person, with his first hit of the year, has given the Phillies a 7 to nothing lead. Can you believe it? Wow. The Phillies were hitting about a buck 20 with the bases loaded this year, and who has to come through for him with the first extra base hit? Robert Hurst. Person. Well, he finally reached home plate. That ball was crushed. It was Herman Franks. Oh, don't tell me. Could it be? No. Foul ball. Tony Cloudinger is the only pitcher ever to hit two slams in a game. And Robert Person came so close to doing that. Deep to left field. Back it goes. It's gone. Robert Person has just hit another home run. His second of the game. A three-run home run. He has seven runs batted in, and the Phillies lead 17 to 1 on an amazing day here at the vet. Uh, he has got one of the slower home run, run trots. He's taking it all in and enjoying it. Todd Pratt got to the plate, and we just see him laughing. Oh, man. How about that? Swing and a drive by Dontrell Willis on the run. Grissom, he can't get it. It's over his head. How about this? Up against the fence. He's heading into third. Willis trying for three. Dives in with a triple. His third hit of the day. The D train has run amok in South Florida. The kid with the kick. Well, watch him kick it in right here, bud. 
He's smelling three right about there. And he's on fumes right about there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> three bases, three for three for Dontrell Willis. have taken a 3-1 to one lead. So Brad Penny about helping your own cause getting on top of that high fastball and Wilson can't get to it nine out of 68 during the regular season with two home runs one ball one strike I'm just going to go out on a, a limb and say that this is uh, thus far in this young season this is the biggest give up at bat going to think about a triple and hold with a double. You led me into it. I didn't say a thing. You did. This crowd loves it as they serenade Dai Sung Ku. This is the greatest hit of his career, period, in his well life. David Wright in the dugout for the Mets. Ku fighting back a smile. Here's David Wright. Are these guys having any fun, these kids for the Mets? I'll tell you, I'm glad I'm not the only guy who thought that. <laughs> I'm just the only one that said it. Exactly. <laughs> a perfect bunt by Reyes. Can't do it any better. And now with home plate vacated, Koo's coming to the plate. Safe! Base running by Koo after his double and the Mets lead now 3 to nothing. Here's a swing and a shot deep to left and Adam Wainwright has just hit his first big league home run. Holy mackerel. He really blasted that thing. The first pitch to him by the left-hander. And I mean, he knocked about four seats out of the left field bleachers. Woo! A home run. And it's now four to three. Holy. <laughs> he just walked up there and said, kaboom. <laughs> Well, and, and, and Willis oh, drives it to deep right, and that's out of here. A grand slam for Dontrell Willis. His fourth career home run, and he hit it a ton. There's the crushing blow for Jose Lima, and the Marlins now have a 7 to nothing lead. Dupont, long one into left. Has he done it? Get up, baby. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, home run off the top of the wall. Supon has hit his first postseason home run. He touches them all, and the Cardinal bench will go wild. He hit it right off the top of the wall, 
down the left side, and he huffs and puffs all the way to home plate. Am I right, John? Did it hit the top of the wall? It hit the top of the wall. I think alongside Andy Chavez's glove, and then bounced on into the Mets bullpen. And it is three nothing. Jeff Supon took an old two pitch over the wall and left. <laughs> Listen to this crowd. Tom in that Lowe's area. Now there's a drive by Han Chi Kuo. It is gone. Three consecutive home runs. Shades of the Padres last year. So the Dodgers come up with a magical second inning with one out. Let's take a look. Not so much the home run, but take a look at Quo flipping the bat. Watch this. Power swing. Got it all. All right. Let her go. All the big guys on the block do that when they hit one out. Second to lane. Bounces that one. Fair ball over Chipper's head and down the line. Snyder in to score, and they're going to send Salazar. Here's the throw to the plate, and it gets past Corky Miller, runs in to score, and down to third goes Micah Owings. It's a 3-1 game. A little light. And that ball's ripped in the air down the line, way back, and there it goes. Home run from Micah Owings, his second of the season, and the Diamondbacks lead at 5-1. We've been telling you, what a great two-sport star he was in high school and in college. And he hits a long home run here in inning number a pitch. And this one in the air center field. This one's pretty well hit. Andrew's going to turn, and he's going to watch that one go. Micah Owings back here in Atlanta and having himself a night. A two-run homer. He's knocked in five. A towering blast. And it's a 7-1 game. Broken bat roller up the middle, and he'll get through. Owings is four for four, and he's knocked in six tonight. And it's 10-1. You're going to be kidding me. He's one for eight. He got his base hit down in San Diego. And sends a drive to deep right center field. That baby is going to be fly away. Get out the rye bread and mustard grab all the Mariners' first grand slam of the year comes from Felix Hernandez. My, oh my, unbelievable. How about that? Jumped on the first pitch. That's got to be the thrill of a lifetime. Lou might let him go ahead and take a hack at it. He's going to let him do it anyway. Look at this. And a base hit in the center. Johnson's going to be sent. McLeod up with it. He won't even throw toward the plate. And Carlos picks up an RBI single to make it three to nothing. Carlos Zambrano. Lofts that ball, and it's going to drop down. McClough unable to get there in time, and Z is two for two. RBI hit his first time up. And a leadoff single here in the fourth inning. In this series, we've got three left-handed starters in Houston. We had all righties. It's not the easiest thing in the world as Zambrano just stays red hot. His third base hit to the right side of this ball game. Bounced up the middle. Base hit number four on the night for Carlos. I think that's a new career high for Big Z. That was against Jeff Supon, part of that four game. Oh, for the other part of the slider. Well, Myers makes contact. Runner at third for the Phillies. Nope, they went back to the slider. Myers didn't chase. Phillies tie it up here in the second. And Myers breaks his back, fouls it away. This is the seventh pitch of the at bat. Full count to the 3 2. Fouls another one off. <laughs>
and draws a huge walk here. That turns the light up over. Brett Myers at bat in the second inning. A nine pitch at bat. He saw ten pitches in his last at bat. See if he comes out of his shoes first pitch. Here. <laughs> With it. They'll hold the runner around third. Burl does not have good speed, and Hart shows off his arm. But the Brett Myers show continues. Now it's the pitcher, Brett Myers. He gets a base hit into center field. Here comes Ruiz. Phillies lead it to the one. Myers goes after the first pitch and gets it past Loney. Two runs are going to score, and Brett Myers has done it again with his bat. It's 6-2. He doesn't know how he's doing it. He's just doing it. Goes after the first pitch here. And he's got another hit. Three for three. Two to right field. And now one down the third baseline. Hits himself in the head with his bat. And then adjust his cap on the way to first. He's not used to being on base this much. <laughs> That's how he's doing it. Close your eyes and hack. The 2-1 is hit well in the left. How about Blanton going deep? to 1974. Kenny Holtzman, the last pitcher to hit a home run. Blanton is now the 15th. This is 3-2 ball game. And that's a strike. Remember, they did tell Mariano, don't swing when he battered in Atlanta, but he just said he couldn't help himself. And did hit a line drive out to center. Strike two. A mighty cut by Rivera. I knew he was swing. I knew he was swing. He's not gonna. He's a competitor. He's not gonna do that. It's ball three. All three runners take off. And he is walking a run. Francisco Rodriguez has walked Rivera to force in a run, the first RBI in the career of Mariano Rivera. So Andy Pettit, who is now two for 17 in his postseason career, hits it in the air to left, and Andy Pettit has just delivered a hit to tie it. Nick Swisher gets flipped at home plate after sliding across safely, and the score is tied at three. Andy Pettit has 13 RBIs. There's a curveball again from Cole Hamels. Hurt again, first by Swisher, and now by the pitcher, Andy Pettit. hammered into left field and that ball is gone a grand slam by the pitcher Chris Carpenter on a first pitch fastball here in the top of the second inning start asking questions but most of these guys today I, I guess oh, Brad Petty deep left grand slam grand slam for Brad Petty did you tell him how to 
swing the bat too. He, he's getting the most out of that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Run in. They ended up with the runners. Bases loaded. This is a long drive to left. It's in the corner, and this ball is gone. Are you kidding me? By the non-hitter. Jake Westbrook has hit a grand slam here in Milwaukee. How about <laughs> that for making up for a base running mistake? Well, that also messed up my hit batsman for home runs. The third home run the Cardinals have hit, and the most unlikely suspect is Westbrook. But if you go to show, you always respect anybody, and I think the, the ball was thrown right into his wheelhouse. Cliff Lee, first pitch swinging. Easy grounder to Phillips. Lee didn't even run. And he is getting booed by the fans. He made a weird gesture as well. He didn't leave. He just kind of shook it off. Check it out. He was starting to run, and he knew Phillips was getting it, and he just went, ah, heck with it. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a quick pitcher's duel, Cliff. This is Mitch. Uh-oh. No way. Matt Kane deep to left, and that one is gone. Wow. First home run of the year for Kane. Second home run of the game. One for Utley, one for Matt Kane. And it's 1 1 here in the top of the third. Well, Cliff, you've taken other pitchers deep in your career. Yeah. It's not a great feeling when you give up that kind of home run to the opposing pitcher. Play combination for the LSU Tigers. Cole Hamill sends one in the air. Deep to oh. right field. That one is. one of the top of the third and Cole Hamels answers with one of his own here in the bottom of the third. Home run derby. I'll tell you what we said they're evenly matched when this game started but we didn't expect this. Veteran of 50 major league hits George he's old school he's like crazy no batting gloves stirrups. Schmidt and saves it first. Two runs are going to score. Told you he hadn't had an RBI in a while. He was due. Kershaw followed by Crawford and Ellis. And a high fly ball to center. Pagan going back. It's over his head. It's over the fence. So I think I saw a couple of players go down there to maybe remind him <laughs> that, uh, hey, <laughs> big boy, National League, grab, grab a bat. A bat. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. The fans here, as you would expect, are very patient. New York fans giving him a standing boo. Maybe this will get his adrenaline going to where he'll get a first ball fastball and get a base hit. Took a good swing last time. Or well, maybe it'll just disrupt the rhythm of Matt Harvey. I doubt it. Pretty good swing. With his second homer of the year. It has been a running theme all year long. The Cubs pitchers and what they've been able to do in the batter's box. It continues here in a big way.
Johnson is coming after Fernandez. That's who was chomping at him then. And now the bench is empty. They're on him for taking a peek. He stood at the plate and watched. I understand that. Johnson being separated. You see Chad Qualls has a hand on him. Well, Fernandez finally hits a home run. So he watched it. And that may have set Johnson off even more yeah, right I think there. it did. Now, Jose did some 21-year-old things during that sequence. One year he hit four home runs. That was the year he won the Silver Slugger Award, 2010. And he sends out a deep left center. Gallardo. You're Gallardo at the base of the wall. Here comes Reynolds. And he will score. Giovanni Gallardo wins it. <laughs> wow. Don't see it all. Don't beat him up too bad. He's got a pitch tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? first pitch on the way and Bumgarner does and sends one to deep left field it's gone my goodness his second one of the year he's going to the all-star game put him in the lineup or at least put him in the home run derby now that's amazing Run to first base. You hope they don't bunt. Look at that. Driven the air to center. Look at that. It's going to go over the head of Fowler. And that ball is gone to dead center. <laughs> Daniel Norris has homered to make it 3 nothing Detroit. Holy cats. Did you see that? Wow. That's up there with the big boys right there. When you can go straight away center field. <laughs> I mean, that's unbelievable. Well, Trevor Bowers, third at bat of the night. He might be under you know, orders. Do not swing. Yeah. You know, this is, you, you go back and you talked about it earlier. This was what it was like. He's going cool to Mike Avilas. Oh, my goodness. He, that is outstanding. Yes, he did. <laughs> I don't know if Andre saw, but he just did. He swings and fouls it back. I think he wanted to go deep. <laughs> well, now it he is. goes back there. to the Kip. <laughs> the man of a thousand stances. Who, who did they used to call uh, the 0 2? Swing and a foul. Bauer gets a piece. Let's see what he comes up with this time. This is a Trevor Bauer. He's tried those. That's Rayburn. He's doing Rayburn. Yeah, he did. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Low and, and away. He took it for a ball. He's, he's incorporated three different batting stances in this at bat. Upstairs, ball four. That's beautiful. Outstanding. I'm giving him a round of applause right there. Everybody it, should. It took Jason Kipnis, Michael Fields, <laughs> and Ryan Rayburn, but he worked it for a walk. <laughs> I don't know why he wouldn't go to third on that now ball to first. for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. That goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. Bartolo has done it. The impossible.
impossible has happened! The team vacates the dugout as Bartolo takes the long trot. His first career home run. And there will be nobody in the dugout to greet him. <laughs> this is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. I want to say that was one of the longest home run trots I've ever seen. But I think that's how fast he runs. <laughs> And now they'll flood up the tunnel and give him his just due. His 226th career at bat. You knew if he ever made contact in just the right way, he was strong enough to do it. And now Bartolo has brought down the house. With an opportunity at the plate. 2-2. Two -two. He gets the bunt down. Runner coming home. Cubs win. With two strikes on him, Lester gets a bunt down to score the winning run here in the 12th. Getting himself loose. And Syndergaard hits one in the air to deep right center. Back goes Puig to the warning track. Back at the wall. It's out of here! Noah Syndergaard's second Major League home run. 2-2, and he swings and flies one to deep center field. Back goes Peterson, near the wall, it's out of here! Noah Syndergaard with his second home run of the night! A three-run shot! Travis Wood just hit the 10th home run of his career. He is third among active pitchers, and that's 10 for Travis Wood, and that's 5-2 for the Cubs. I said you weren't missing much when Wood comes in at the plate and an athlete, and he delivered as a reliever. I think the hardest thing to do as a reliever in the postseason is check in. He not only checked in on the mound, he checked in at the plate and getting a standing up. Arietta launches to left. the count. That ball is smoked. Left center field. Adios! Pelota! By the daughter. Into the bleachers. 2-0 Giants. High drive. Left field. It is out of here. He's done it again. take their leads at first and second. Fly ball. Left center field. That ball's going to be in the gap. Archie Bradley, are you kidding me? He's going for third, and he's in with a slide. It can only happen in the wild card game. 3-2 <laughs> pitch. Oh, boy. Get him. Tell me he did it. He did it. A grand slam for Anthony Di Scrofani.
challenges Jan Herman and Silver Slugger when he comes to home plate. He brought a 300 average into the ball game. He hit that a mile. Scherzer the other way. Second base hit of the year. He's thinking two until Marqueca stops him. Scherzer stealing and there's no play. He just got a walking lead and kept on going. Max Scherzer, first career stolen base. Check it out, folks. Standing ovation at the ballpark for Max Scherzer. gonna let him attack him he is <laughs> he earned it uh, he'll let it go so far and then he'll start to fight it's gonna be a base hit flies one into right center field back at the wall telling you right now it's a good thing he did that leading off can you imagine doing that with two outs and not having the time to cool down it's like getting a hole in one in golf and trying to play the next hole so he'll have some time to cool off never could you have imagined he'd be coming to the park today thinking I'm gonna hit off of Kershaw and take him deep but that's the 23rd time a pitcher hit a home run in the postseason that was no cheapy that was 407 over the wall in right center He's got to bring himself down a little bit and pitch. Frankie drives one deep to center field. Gone! Zach Cranky, there it goes! A three-run homer. And the D-backs take a 4-2 lead. Cranky bidding for one more! It's gone! Zach Granke, a multi-home run game. Murphy and Granke go back to back, 6-2 D-backs. Well, he has struck out 10 through five innings and homered twice. And now he's just showing off. <laughs> wow, have a night. Been a long time coming for Michael Lorenzen, but he's set to make his first career major league start in center field. And after last night, you got to put Babe Ruth in the lineup, don't you? Check out our IGS bringing the energy last night. Pitched a couple of innings, two-run home run, played in center field in the ninth. One of two players in MLB history to pitch, play center field, hit a home run, and get a win. And indeed, the last player to do it, the Babe in 1921. He's a Confident kid, he is always in the manager's ear. Swing and a line drive! Braves win! Max Freed! Braves up two in the sixth. And a high fly ball center. Just for his at bat. Who even cares about his pitching right now? Oh, my. That was a no doubter. He knew it, too. Look at the smile on Enoa's face. A homer against the Cubs. Now a grand slam homer, and the Braves break it open. Look at that right there. He knew it. Camarena to keep right field.
Hit down the left field line. And out of here! Take the tour, kid. You deserve it. On the last day of the season, the Giants pitchers have hit a home run. And listen to this crowd. Well, he's been swinging it. There's no doubt about that. First big league homer in the biggest game of the year. And the gauntlet of fame in the Giants dugout. My goodness. Let's take a look at it one more time from the splash cam. Just a thing of beauty. Oh, that ball's hit hard. Right field sinking fast. It's down. Slater comes up with a throw to the plate up the line. Gets by. And it's an RBI single for Julio Rios. And the Dodger pitcher makes him pay. You throw a split. Here's Granke. 117 career hits and 521 at bats and nine home runs. And he grounds one up the middle, a base hit. He was on the list last night as a pinch hitter. And he gets a knock right up the middle, and his dugout loves it. Well, he does have nine home runs. He does have a World Series hit in this series, one for two last night. And he pitched great. I mean, four innings, at least what goes down is great. And starting pitching and good starting pitching has been so scarce as he lines one into right, a base hit. He's two for three in this World Series, swinging the bat. And he's on with one out here in the fourth. He's going to tell Mr. Correa, his teammate, he can rake.